going to show you guys another really cool exercise. This is one that I do on a, on a pretty regular basis as I'm trying to slowly work on my twin pedal chops. And <clears throat> this one is really just mainly designed to training this left foot and also training the, uh, the two feet to be even sort of dynamically, you know what I mean? Like I want to be able to, to have both strokes that I'm playing sound the same while I'm doing this exercise because ultimately this is one of those licks that you're going to muscle out at full volume when you do it. So the biggest thing is concentrating on that left foot and making sure it's as strong as the right one. So all of your, all of your brain function waves and energy and attention are going to be on this left foot. So the idea is real simple, man. We're just playing triplets. That's it. One with the hand, two with the feet. So um, in this particular case, I'm starting right hand. But one thing that I'm really trying to concentrate on with a lot of the exercises that I'm doing is leading first with the left foot. So we're going to go right, left foot, right foot. So right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right. And the reason I'm doing that, again, is because I'm trying to build the, um, build the strength of my left foot. And I can really kind of concentrate on planting that note with the left foot while I'm doing this exercise. And it's just really going to help sort of speed up the process in, um, in getting my left foot in shape. So that's the first one we're going to do. There's two different variations that I'm going to show you. The first one is just going to be simple. Um, right, left foot, right foot. And what you want to do, is super important, you want to focus on playing clean, straight triplets. All right? So da ga da 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 da Don't gallop them like da da ga da da ga da da ga da da ga da Don't do none of that. All right? You just want to make sure that you're playing straight, clean triplets. All right? And um, I'm starting at about 150 beats per minute. Um, if that's too fast for you, if you're doing this for the first time, you can always just drop it a little bit. But uh, yeah, I'm starting at around 150 when I do this. And I do it basically for as long as I can until I get tired, rest a little bit, and then keep going. So this is what the first one looks like. All right, so as you can see from the exercise, I eventually got the, uh, the left hand involved as well. It's always a good idea and, and pretty important thing to do the same thing with both hands. So start with the right hand, do that for a few minutes, and then go ahead and do the same thing with the left hand. Um, it's really good for uh, getting around the drums because you have to sort of have to cross over this way, you know what I mean? So it just helps with facility and all that other kind of stuff. So, that was the first one. The second variation that I do is I alternate each hand. So, um, yeah, pretty much the same thing, just alternating hands. And, um, and what I really try to, to concentrate on this particular variation of the exercise is flow. I try to stay really nice and loose because eventually I'm going to be using this in a bunch of different ways uh, while I'm playing. So I just want to make sure, man, that I'm just like flowing like water, man, all around the kit, you know what I'm saying? Um, 
starting out nice and uh, and slow, and just really, you know, trying to get everything that I want to get done, done. So planting that left foot, making that nice and strong, keeping the flow nice and tight, and playing a super straight string of triplets, as straight as I can get them. Now the one thing that I really want to stress about this exercise, because drummers get real excited about stuff when they start to get good at it. This particular exercise, it's super important that you don't go too fast with it. Um, because what we're, all we're trying to do is to really just get this left foot happening, get it nice and strong. So it's not important that you do this exercise fast. So there's a sweet spot, sort of BPM, and, um, and for me, it's, it's 200. There's no need to go over 200 BPMs, even when you're really good at this, because this, really this is really all about training the muscles, all right? So don't be too concerned with flying with this exercise when you do it, because you want to be able to pace yourself, you know what I mean? Um, I like to do this for a good, you know, minute at a time, minute or two, or however long I can do it until I get tired, and, um, and then I take a break, and then I start all over again. So it's just training, man. You just got to pace yourself. It's like a treadmill, you know what I'm saying? So there's no need to, you know, want to get to the point where you're flying with this exercise. That's not, speed is not the point with this exercise, all right? It's muscle building is the point to this. So take your time and concentrate while you're doing this. And uh, like I said, man, just focus on those three things, playing the nice uh, string of triplets, keeping them nice and even, planting that left foot, and, um, and just making sure you're, you're getting around the drums, you know, keeping that flow real nice. And when the time comes later on, where uh, you might want to start doing this fast, like in a, in a whatever playing situation you're in, you'll find that it's going to be a whole lot easier because you took your time with it while you were practicing with it. Remember, speed is not the key to speed. Proper form is the key to speed. So give this a shot, man. This is a really cool exercise. Like I said, it's one that I do on a, on a regular basis while I'm working on my double kick chops. And um, I've noticed improvements in a couple of weeks. Like I, it's already really starting to feel real nice. So I'm just going to keep doing it. So jump on this. You know what I'm saying? Throw this into your practice routine while you're working on your double kick. Don't forget to tell people where you learned it. Like, subscribe. See you next video.